Hi everyone, this is Jason here from Nathaniel. If you are a beginner on the piano, you have come to the right place. This lesson is designed just for you and not just beginners. Anyone who's been playing the piano for about a year or two or maybe three may find this lesson quite useful. So I've introduced three skills or three techniques or exercises or music creation strategies if you will on the piano which i think any of anyone can do you just need to know the notes of the piano and you need to have two hands that's pretty much all that's needed notes of the piano the white notes the black note sharps flats the white note names where to find it for example where is e there we have it where is a there we go c sharp maybe an e flat there we go. So you just have to know that. Stick with me for the lesson. Get your pianos out, a book if possible, so you can write this stuff down. You may also want to consider heading over to our Patreon page. You will get access to all these notes of this lesson and every lesson we do in the future and most of the lessons which we've done in the past. Also, if you'd like more such lessons, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and hit that bell icon for regular notifications. And also don't... And also consider giving the video a like, a share, a comment, which will help the channel grow. Let's get cracking. So for the first exercise, I've kept the notes very simple. There are just four of them. E, G sharp, A, B. Okay, you could use these four fingers or you could use these four fingers. Experiment, see which fingers work better. E, G sharp, A, B. So the exercise is basically to go on and on with these four notes in an order, which could be ascending. Ascending means going up. So there we have it. Or it could be descending where you go down. So you go ascending. You could repeat this. or descending where this starts sounding interesting is when you bring in the left hand to just stamp on some notes basically for example E why will E work because E is anyway there in the right hand so it should theoretically work check that out so you just hold E keep it ringing You'll also be pleasantly surprised that you can now move the left hand to C sharp and it'll sound really cool. Even though C sharp is not there in the right hand, it complements it because it gives the music harmonic movement. Which in simple words is taking the music on a kind of a journey. Check that out. You're moving or your hero or your actor is moving. You could even move it to D. Honestly, I'd leave it to you. You could do some mysterious notes like C. You could also do B. A. Some notes you may find are a bit weird. Like a B flat. Don't use B flat. So explore. Go on the adventure. Make a few kind of, not errors, but find notes which you really like find notes which are like really plain and simple find notes which are adventurous which are mysterious but add beauty find notes which you just think are horrible it doesn't mean that B flat is a horrible note not at all it means that B flat doesn't work with the stuff in the right hand right so and we, we are not moving or changing the right hand in this lesson so you step number one the group of four notes be able to play them ascending descending and then play with the left hand playing not more than one hit per every four beats in the right hand so in other words one two three four one you see what's happening there the left hand is just holding down while the right hand finishes the job you could even do one for every eight like just whack it every eight times of the right hand, which we call a bar in music. The whole bar of quavers or eighth notes, if you think about it. Moving. You could do it at your own pace. There we go. 
There we go. D. I like G sharp. A. G is weird. F is nice. F is very mysterious. C is also mysterious. So I've put together some nice set of notes which you can practice. I've put together a bunch of progressions in the notes which you can find on Patreon. So just follow those notes. For example, if the notes are written as E, C sharp, A, B, that becomes exercise one. C sharp, A, B. I've tried to ensure that the music sounds as pleasant as possible and doesn't sound like a otherwise rather boring piano drill which a lot of beginners are forced to do and us uh, more experienced folk tend to never do which is weird we should all do exercises but beginners like you if you're one shouldn't be obsessed with these exercises because ultimately you're here to make some great music Always, whether you are, you know, even one month into the piano, I always encourage students to try and make music because that's what you do. A, a dancer dances, a painter paints. So why should we simply waste our time doing exercises all the time? Even though exercises are important, drills are important, but ultimately you want to play your sport, right? So let's move on to another really cool activity which you can do as a beginner. Right, so this is a very simple set of notes which I want you to first figure out within your right hand. E with your thumb, G with your index finger or pointer finger, A with your middle, B with your ring, and D with your pinky, right? Now, you don't really have any more fingers. I guess we, we wish we did, but yeah, if I if I had another finger, I could have gone on and on. But this is it for now. So this is what we actually call as the minor pentatonic scale. A B D B A G G A B D. If you'd like, you can kind of slide to that bluesy B flat. But for the most part, get into this hand grip and just play it at your own pace, up and down. Now move your head to the music and just see if your left hand can keep the pace of how your head is moving. Just with the head, we call this the pulse, or you could call these as quarter notes. You could speed up your right hand, speed up more, slow, but still double, slower. All speeds work great. Okay. Now that you've got a grip of the minor pentatonic with that bluesy flavor or that pickle, spice or ghee or masala here and there with that bluesy vibe, here's the drill. Now, take your hands or on a table or, in, or a drum if you have one and just tap out a groove which you enjoy. Let's say off the top, this is what comes to me naturally. Something like that. Now, get it till you feel confident about the rhythm. Now go back to the hand position on the piano and try to execute that. You can go up. You realize that the music sounds quite fancy. You could jump around, mess around with the notes. It doesn't have to be arohan, avarohan or up and down. It can be... You could even take one note. 
are the boring one note so combine notes there we go jumble it bluesy bring in that blues note but it's the same rhythm which i did let's just try one more just for fun quite like that okay now play and try to see if with whatever you're creating in a percussive organic flavor try to match this on the piano somehow using that hand grip and maintaining a steady pulse at all times in the left hand okay or you could maintain a steady pulse in the right hand and play the scale in the right hand right but some people find that a bit trickier to do so you see what works for you either your left hand maintains a steady pulse which is more common and the right hand explores a melody or you can even do a vice versa where the left hand explores a melody on the hand grip which is the pentatonic which you can do with both hands and now you come up with an organic pattern and try to play it some or just match the hit points remember it so your memory is also going to be tested which i'm sure it is good enough for watching this video and uh, all the best with that guys have fun playing it and uh, what i mainly intend for you to do is enjoy the piano and once you enjoy the piano you will be able to excel at it you'll definitely be able to work put in the hours what i find with beginners is you you overdo the exercises to a point that you lose the joy and the passion and the love of the instrument which is why you wanted to learn it in the first place so start with always do fun stuff on the piano i'm not saying don't do scales don't do inversions you you have to do all that but you need to enjoy and you need to have some fun so i have one more interesting challenge for you before we sign off so i have a set of notes which are on the screen you have a flat b flat c d flat e flat f g a flat which is basically the a flat major scale okay you don't have to bother about fingering even though most people will start with their index finger and cross the thumb from here slowly fingering doesn't matter that much for this lesson now here's what you do in your left hand you pair it so what is a flat's pair and we call this a third pair so a flat's third pair is f b flat uh, its friend is g c with the a flat in the bottom d flat with the b flat in the bottom e flat with a c f with a d flat g with an e flat a flat over f now you don't have to play all these notes you could do something like just those combos whatever you like maybe start with the ones i have made for you in the notes 2 3 4 remember f is paired with d flat e flat is paired with c you would also give it a little bit of a rhythmic twist a flat with c you can play it higher some stuff like this just fool around with those two notes you have your right hand and you have your left hand think like you're a drummer you know so
figure out whatever you want to do. But don't forget the groupings of the notes. It's like uh, A flat paired with F in the bass, F paired with D flat. So you don't want to do something like something else which you may not be in control over. Not that it's wrong to pair with something else. It's just that you may not be able to control it because it's not as easy or smooth as what this is. These are diatonic thirds. They come from the scale. So they are designed to sound great and work pretty much all the time. So that's the other uh, exercise, guys. So if you're a beginner, you could do these three drills. Let's just recap what we've done. First... E, G sharp, A, B. And in the Patreon, you can also see I've written down a few more uh, note ideas. Like E, F sharp, G sharp, B. So do check that out. These are just notes to get you started. I've even written different left hand ideas. So you could do E, G sharp, A, B. You could also do E, F sharp, G sharp, B. Both those variations are there with different left hand movement then i talked about the idea of creating a percussive groove doom ta doom doom ta and and creating something on the pentatonic scale right uh, and last but not least we talked about this modern pop harmonic movement thing where you know you get patterns like your two hands with notes one note there and then it's third in the other hand a uh, lot more strategies i have you know in store which i do in my normal lessons and i'd love to share it with you i just thought we'll keep this lesson short and sweet with just three things which i'm sure you can all do like right now so get out your pianos practice hard over the week uh, or the weeks uh, you want with this drill and but also consider sharing it with us on our Instagram handles, either my personal or Nathaniel School. You could also interact with us by doing either our courses, our workshops, by filling out a form on our website or just following some of the links in the description. A lot of this is covered in a very structured way. We even have video courses if you'd like to learn in your own pace and so on and so forth. Hope you guys found the lesson useful. As always, this is Jason here from Nathaniel School of Music. Don't forget to hit that subscribe, the bell if possible. Uh, leave us a comment with what you'd like to learn next. Your comments have really helped us grow as a YouTube channel. A uh, like would be great. A share would be great with all your friends and family. We want all of them to watch this video. So please share. And I will see you in the next one. Cheers.